Hi, my name is Yana, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this adorable heart book sleeve. It is so adorable and super easy to make. Opening it up, like it, it fits, like it fits in there. I love it. I'm obsessed. Go make it now. So let's jump into the tutorial right away. All right, to start this granny square, we are going to work on the heart, obviously. And for the heart, I'm using this pink color. You can use any color you want, honestly. And for this project, I am using a five millimeter crochet hook. To start, we're going to make a slip knot. And to make a slip knot, you wanna make a loop with your yarn just like this. So you just wanna cross over the working tail and the tail end. And then you wanna grab it in the middle, like here. You wanna pull it so that it makes like this crossed O and then you want to grab your hook, slide it under the line of the O and then you want to grab this part and this part and then pull it close just like this. That's how you make a slip knot. And then we're going to start off by making a chain three. So chain three, one, two, three. And to make a chain, you just pull through one so we're going to chain three and then we're going to insert a slip knot into the first chain that we made right here just like that after we've made this little circle we are going to chain three and this is going to count as our first double crochet next we're going to make 11 more double crochets so let's just work them in the circle that we made so to make a double crochet you want to yarn over so that you have two so to say loops on your hook you want to insert your hook into the stitch yarn over pull through so you have three on your loop now you want to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's how you make a double crochet and now you want to make in total 11 double crochets into that loop once you're done with making those 11 half double crochets you're going to want to slip stitch in, into the top of the chain three that we did in the beginning so that's right here this is the chain three this is the chain one two and three and this is where we're going to slip stitch into just like so and now to actually start the heart we are going to make a triple crochet into the third from the hook so this is the first the second and the third hi editor me here and if you are actually watching the video and actually paying attention you may have noticed that the first stitch is not there and that is because i was stupid question mark and i did it wrong so i was one stitch off so the invisible stitch that i'm referring to as stitch one is actually just not there and is false so stitch two is stitch one stitch three is stitch two so you're just gonna count as normal and ignore my mistake we're gonna yarn over twice that's how you make a triple crochet so you're gonna yarn over twice you're gonna insert your hook into the third stitch which is this one right here and then yarn over pull through you're gonna yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two once again and now you've made your first triple crochet after you want to make seven more triple crochets in the same stitch so that at the end you're gonna have eight triple crochets Once you have eight triple crochets in that same stitch, we're gonna make a double crochet in the next one. Make sure to move 
the triple crochets away so you don't miss the first one um, or the next one. We're going to make a double crochet. Then we're going to make another double crochet in the next stitch. And then another one in the next stitch. But in this one, we are going to make a triple crochet in the same stitch. So we have two double crochets and then one double crochet and one triple crochet in the same stitch. After that, we are going to chain one and then we're going to repeat the same thing we did on this side exactly on the other side. So what I mean by that, a triple crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch and then two separate double crochets and then eight triple crochets in the same stitch. And let's just do that. So after you chain one, we're going to make a triple crochet in the next stitch. A double crochet in the same stitch. Two double crochets in the next two stitches. And then we're going to make eight triple crochets in the next stitch. Once you have made eight triple crochets in the same stitch, we are going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. We are going to slip stitch in this one and in the next one just for security. And this is your first heart. Now we're just going to cut off the loose end. And for this part, you want to keep in a nice tail it doesn't really have to be that long but just definitely not too short um so that's just up to you on how you weave it in if you even weave it in because let's be honest weaving in is exhausting and now we're gonna work on the smaller square around the heart so first we want to create another slip knot and then we're going to take it off our hook we're gonna count from the middle so from the first stitch one, two, three, four. We're gonna slip stitch into that one, or not really slip stitch. We're gonna insert our hook into that stitch, put the white one or the other color one behind it. Then we're going to grab it and pull through so that we have just a seamless transition. Then we're gonna chain three and insert one half double crochet in the same exact stitch. In the next stitch, we're going to make a half double crochet and to make a half double crochet, you wanna yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three on your hook. And in the next one, you wanna make a single crochet, another half double crochet, a double crochet. After your double crochet, you want to make a triple crochet in the next stitch. Another triple crochet in the next stitch. And then another triple crochet in the same stitch. Then, after you've made the triple crochet, you're going to chain two, insert two more triple crochets in the same stitch. So in the same stitch as the previous two triple crochets. In the next stitch, we're going to make a double crochet. Then a half double crochet. In the next stitch, we are going to place a single crochet and just 
to clear up. The single crochet should technically be in the chain one space, right? All right, in the next stitch, we're gonna make a high single crochet, and this is the part where the pattern repeats itself. And the single crochet should actually be in the chain one space from the previous rows and from the heart. If it is for you, then you're correct. Um, if it isn't, then it is pretty irrelevant because I've crocheted five of these heart half to, uh, heart granny squares, and some end up there, some don't, and it's pretty irrelevant, honestly. Holy f Oh my f Holy f I looked up and this is what I f see out of hanging out of the window. Anyways, after I almost uh, <laughs> ignore that. Um, okay, so where am I? Now, uh, after the single crochet, we're just going to repeat the pattern um, up and round up until well this part so now we are going to make a half double crochet oh my god my heart hurts a double crochet in the next stitch and then we're gonna make two triple crochets um chain two two triple crochets in the same stitch Chain two, two triple crochets in the same stitch. Right, and now after you've made the corner, we're gonna make another triple crochet in the next stitch. Then we're gonna make a double crochet half double crochet, single crochet, then we're going to make another half double crochet, and then we're going to make two double crochets in the next stitch, chain two, two double crochets in the next, uh, in the same stitch. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same stitch. Just like that. In the next stitch, we're going to make a half double crochet. And then we're going to make two double crochets together, but not in the same stitch together, uh, like together, together. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through so that we have three on our loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two. Once you have three loops on your hook, we're gonna yarn over, pull through all of them. We are going to yarn over twice, insert a triple crochet in the middle. So if you would follow this pattern correctly, unlike me, you would be here with your double crochets. But since I'm not, we're gonna insert our hook into the middle and make a triple crochet right there just like so, and once again, you wouldn't have this mistake like me. In the next, we are going to make two double crochets together. And then we are going to make a half double crochet. And now, since we've reached the end, we want to insert two more double crochets in the same stitch. Chain two, and then we're gonna slip stitch right into the chain three from the beginning. And just like so, you have made the inner circle, inner square of your heart granny square. 
And now we're gonna continue on with the outer square of the granny square. And for this, it is actually really simple. We are just gonna start off by chaining three. Then we're going to make a double crochet in the chain two space from the previous row. And for this entire row, we are literally just gonna double crochet in every single stitch. So in the next one right here, we're gonna place a double crochet. Once again, a double crochet, and that is what we're gonna do for the entire row. So once you're at the chain two space, you're gonna make two double crochets in the chain two space. Then you wanna chain two and place two more double crochets in that chain two space. And you're gonna do that for every single corner. And besides that, we're just gonna double crochet. All right, so how to finish off the granny square. So I worked in my first or third um, double crochet in the, in the corner. And now I'm gonna make my last. And then I'm gonna chain two into the top of the chain three, I'm gonna make a slip knot. And that is how you finish off the part granny square and cut it off. So, and that is how you make a heart granny square. Now you should have six granny squares with hearts in the middle or stars or just simple granny squares. It doesn't really matter. And we're just gonna place them. Let's move the camera. We're gonna place them like this. Please ignore the fact that this color is obviously not the same. It's because I actually don't have this yarn anymore. I can't buy it, I can't get it anywhere, so I'm just gonna have to finish it with white yarn since that's all I currently have. But moving on, we're just gonna place it like this in this little like three, whatever you wanna call it. And I have actually made other granny square tote bags, uh, granny square little bags before. So I'm just gonna show you, this is what you should be expecting it to look like. But what I would like to add is that size is really different for everyone because this isn't even half the size of the one that I made. So this is the one I made first, then is this one. And now I'm gonna make that one. As you can see, every um, granny square has a different size and that is solely because of the yarn. And that is what beginners should look out for because as a beginner, I thought different yarn size is pretty irrelevant. I mean, it does make sense if you think about it, but I was just like, whatever, you know, yarn is yarn. And I didn't realize it because this was with really, really small yarn, as you can see. And this one was with a, a big, bit thicker yarn, obviously. And this one is just with a in-between yarn size. So definitely check the difference since if you're using really fine yarn, expect something like this where your phone can fit, but that's about it. If you compare it to electronics, you can put like your phone and your headphones in here maybe. Um, for this, a regular size iPad or a tablet may work. Obviously not the biggest. Um, so not a computer. If you wanna make it for computer, that's a different story. And for this one, you may be able to fit like a really small tablet. So you really just wanna measure it and see how big one granny square is. Now I'll just get rid of everything but two granny squares because that's what we're gonna start out with. So we're gonna face backwards. So this is the wrong side and this is what we're gonna call it. So let's move the camera down. Just to clarify, this is the right side and this is the wrong side. So we are going to face the wrong side to us. We're gonna place two granny squares facing the wrong side against each other. And then we're gonna fold them close so that the right side is facing each other and the wrong side is facing us. We're gonna grab our crochet hook and the yarn that we're using even though it doesn't fit. So we're gonna make a slip knot once again. Pull it tight and then we're going to start connecting them. If you want to, you can connect these by doing single crochets, but it's pretty irrelevant. And at the beginning, you wanna make sure that all the loose ends are facing 
your side so that you can just simultaneously get rid of them and since we have hearts which need to be facing a certain type of way make sure that your hearts are like this when you close it and not like this then we're going to turn turn to one side and that is one of these sides so where a half a heart is not on the bottom or top we're going to make it on half the side so it can be this side or this side pretty irrelevant just make sure that you're on the half of the heart if that makes sense we're gonna grab our slip stitch remove it from our hook so we're gonna insert our hook into the second chain or the well the first or second whatever so here and then in here we're gonna grab our slip stitch and then we're gonna pull it through the two loops now we are going to make slip stitches but the way that i like to do it since for my personal opinion it looks better i'm going to only grab the outside loop so leave the one in the middle there and then for the second row as well you can tell that there are two loops in every single stitch it doesn't matter if you make a half double crochet double crochet single crochet or triple crochet they're always gonna have two loops and i am only gonna go into the outside one so the one that's facing me and the one that's facing that side so not the one that's facing the granny squares inside so we are going to make a slip stitch so pull through all loops on your hook and that is what we're going to do for the rest of the row we're only going to go into the out loop outside loop and in the other stitch as well only the outside loop and then we're going to make a slip knot and the reason why i do it is because for me personally i think it looks better and it has it gives this look where there's like this little edge instead of just being completely gone if that makes sense of course if you want to you can keep it normal but i don't actually have an example of how it would look like since in every i did the little outlining now i'm almost finished and turning it around this is what i mean this is the kind of look that you are supposed to be expecting you can barely even see the white yarn that i use which is honestly pretty nice at the end we are only gonna make once again onto the first uh chain from the previous corners since that is like the halfway point and now we are actually gonna cut off the uh thing that we're making so we're just gonna chain one more and then grab our scissors cut off and yes i'm doing using a nail cutter leave me alone we're gonna grab two more granny squares and we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna do that for the this what we just did uh with the leftover for granny squares in two pairs all right now you should have um three pairs of two and now we're just gonna do the same thing that we did but in this way so that we have everything connected into one like piece so to say just like here and this part is actually depending on how you want your piece to sit i obviously want this piece to be in the back so i'm gonna place it like this i will choose this piece as the front and this piece is going to be folded over just like this what i mean by folded over is like how in this i have it fold folded over like a half so that you only see the half of the granny square here and over there it's actually really important because since you if i fold it like this you realize that not everything is like this because then it would be like this right i'm saying a lot of this and this but it makes sense i'm gonna fold it just like this and just like the other row we are going to connect them up here just throughout the whole side so i'm gonna grab my connecting yarn make a slip knot i'm gonna grab my slip knot and then i'm going to connect it on the second chain or well this one like this is the first this is the second this is what i'm gonna call the second for now and i'm only gonna go into the top loop so like this and then slip stitch and then for the rest of the row once again i'm only gonna work in the back loop to connect it
Okay, so once you've reached the center and we are going to go into the first chain or the second one, just one of the chains, the one closest to us, the first one, let's just call it. We're gonna slip stitch. We are going to go into the second chain. And for the other side, again, we're also gonna go into the second chain, slip stitch. And then we are right here. Now we're gonna go into just through the middle of where we just connected. So right here, we're just gonna stab our crochet hook through the middle somehow in some way, just stab it right through, grab one, pull it through. All right, so I connected all of the three pieces and guess what? I made a mistake, ironic, isn't it? I was triple, double, quadruple checking and still I made a mistake. Honestly, I wanted the heart to be around the other way, but that didn't happen and I'm too lazy to be honest. But now since I've folded this over, we are going to connect these sides so that it becomes like a bag you know start off by making a slip knot so we're gonna have it flipped over like this and now we're gonna start on this side where the corner is folded and that is because we are once we have connected this part we're gonna go around the top and make a row of single crochets so let's just do that so slip stitch right into what should be the chain. So there's only one chain left right here. We're gonna slip stitch into that. Once again, we're going to slip stitch only in the back loops. you reach the end this is what it should really kind of look like i guess so this is really messy so i guess i get it if you don't understand what you're looking at so this is the first chain this is the second one and it doesn't look like that but we're just gonna ignore that we're gonna go in there and slip stitch into the granny square on the other side and this is what it should look like for on the other side and yes different colors whatever we're gonna ignore that and now we are going to and for this part we are actually not gonna do any more slip stitches we're only gonna do a last slip stitch into the second chain and then we are going to make a chain one and then for the rest of the row we're going to make single crochets around the side to make a border. So for the corner, we are going to make... So we are going to go into that corner with two single crochets. Chain two. Two single crochets. Just to keep that corner like really a corner. Um, we're not really gonna mess with that. After that, we're just gonna continue on. So I'm going to crochet up until the chain right here. Then I'm going to chain three and then insert my hook into the chain 
the second chain or the first chain and then i'm going to single crochet right in there and just like here i have it here this is relatively big honestly but it just fits around the button and then it's perfect so that's what you're gonna do with this one and then we're just gonna continue on going into every single stitch to So this is where we are going to connect the granny squares back up, align them like this, and I'm going to work into the last chains. We are going to go back, so just like in, on the opposite side, I think, I made a slip stitch into just the middle, and now we're just going to slip stitch once again into the next few stitches like we would usually do. Remember to go into only the top loops of the stitch and for the single crochet row we're not going to go into the top loops obviously, um, only for the slip stitches because it just looks better. And this is the last slip stitch that we're making, so now I'm going to cut it off and then now I'm going to flip it inside out and ignore all the loose ends. This is not it, don't worry, this isn't the finished project. And yes, if I did have the right color and everything, I would probably be more in love with it. For this part, we are still going to make a few more rows just like you've seen in my other project so here i have made three or something rows and that's what we're gonna do we are going to create a slip knot so for the side we are actually going to make multiple rows single crochets so we're going to grab it through we're going to make chain one and then we're going to single crochet this is how you would end the first row so we're going to still go into this stitch and then slip stitch it so that the corner is more closed then i'm going to chain one turn my work that's what you're going to do just basic just basic rows of single crochets and this is how it should look like I've made one, two, three, four, five rows. And that's also the row amount that I'm gonna keep. And then you can just fold it over. That's how it should look like, but how to actually end it. So once you're at the point where you wanna end it, it should be pretty simple. You wanna slip stitch into the thing, and then you wanna chain, pull through, and then take your scissors wherever they may be and hide it <laughs> all right and now this should be what you have um honestly it looks amazing and yes these ends should still be weaved in but we can do that in a second and here it needs to be a button so that we can actually close it and don't worry about the sides curling in if that is for you because for me, mine's really curly because of my bad tension, but if you look at the ones that I made already, they are pretty flat and that's because I used them a lot for like multiple months because I made them at like at the start of this year, so they're pretty flattened already. And this one is like a bit wrinkly and stuff, but that will solve itself eventually. 
All right, now I'm gonna start by working on the button and I have gone through my grandma's sewing stash and I found this, well, this from a hotel. So, so for any crocheters that aren't like sewers or that don't really have sewing things, having like these little pouches from hotels or planes or whatever, I forgot where I have this from, totally works since it has everything you need, a button and a needle and some uh, string. So for my thing, I honestly, I think I'm gonna use this big clear one. So I'll just grab a bit of my string. Now I'm gonna fold it in half, line the ends so that they're like this. Then I'm going to tie a knot. Well, I mean, one knot is way too thin since, uh, as you can see, this is crocheting and not like an actual clothing piece. So you want to tie a bunch of knots so that the end is actually really thick so that it can't go through since the knot at the end is supposed to stop uh, the yarn from uh, the strings. Sorry, I'm just in crochet language. Uh, that the string does not like slip through so i'm gonna tie like a bunch of knots maybe like four or five knots so i'm gonna place it right here which is just underneath that part and then i'm just gonna start sewing it on to sew it on i'm gonna enter from the back and poke it through and then i'm gonna see if i can pull the knot through i can okay and then i'm just gonna pull it through and don't pull too hard because technically you're you, you can pull the knot through since yarn is not really like dense, I guess. And then you're just gonna go through the other hole. And if you have four holes on your button, you're just gonna go through uh, four holes instead of two holes. Uh, so you're just gonna like go from this to this, 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 and then crisscross and just a bunch of times, which is what I'm doing. Um, but I only have two holes, so- And now, with this length, I am going to tie a knot. The button is on, you can like, button it closed, and this is how it will look like. Pretty nice, I love it, it's cute. I would prefer like a heart button, but I don't have, I just use like buttons from my grandma's button box. <laughs> That's funny. And now we're just gonna weave it every loose end in, which is so exciting, yay. So we're gonna start off by weaving in the heart, the middle of the heart. So you have this string in the middle and you're gonna pull it as tight as you can so it closes up the hole. So here, the string is coming from, right? You're gonna go across in this little, in this part and pull then you're gonna go across from here which is here like and then from this side you're gonna go over there and i just do this multiple times around the the hole so that the heart closes up instead of being openable and now you can just cut it off and it will most likely hopefully not open and you can just ignore that anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope this tutorial was clear enough if you guys have any questions make sure to comment them down below i will make sure to read them and reply to them if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching bye bye